Chapter 1. A Mysterious Discovery in Deep Space In the far reaches of the Antares star system, the starship Celestial Vanguard sliced through the darkness of space. Captain Aaron Keldar, a tall woman with striking blue eyes and cropped auburn hair, surveyed her crew as they efficiently manned their stations. The hum of the spaceship's engines and the glow of the control panels filled the bridge with a familiar sense of purpose. As the ship, the Antares, approached an uncharted planet, Keldar's first officer, Lieutenant Commander Terran Mekar, reported the discovery of an unusual energy signature emanating from the surface. His eyes, shimmering like the cosmos, danced with curiosity. Captain Keldar ordered the ship into orbit, and a sense of anticipation filled the air. A small team, including Captain Keldar, ventured down to the planet's surface in a shuttle. They traversed a landscape that seemed to defy the laws of nature. Mountains twisted like ribbons, and rivers flowed with iridescent liquid that glittered under the alien sun. As they reached the source of the energy signature, they discovered a hidden chamber buried beneath the ground. Inside, an ancient artifact lay cradled in a strange, pulsating light. The object resembled a glowing crystal orb, and as the team approached, the air seemed to vibrate with a strange energy. The moment Captain Keldar touched the artifact, her vision blurred and she found herself standing in a different place entirely. It was a world of shadows and whispers, with an eerie, haunting beauty. She could sense the presence of her crew members, but they appeared as ghostly apparitions, their voices echoing as if from a great distance. As quickly as the vision had come, it vanished, leaving Captain Keldar and her crew reeling from the experience. They carefully retrieved the artifact and returned it to the Celestial Vanguard for further study. Back aboard the ship, the crew began to experience vivid dreams and waking visions. Some spoke of encounters with strange beings, while others recounted wandering through impossible landscapes that seemed to defy logic. As the dreams grew more intense, it became clear that the artifact they had discovered held a power beyond their understanding. Unbeknownst to the crew of the Celestial Vanguard, they were not the only ones who had taken an interest in the artifact. Far away in the depths of space, a sinister figure watched their progress with a predatory gaze. Lord Varric, the ruthless leader of the Crimson Nebula, was plotting to claim the artifact for himself, setting in motion a chain of events that would change the galaxy forever. To be continued.